Yeah. There's nothing like the view from the cheap seats. Good morning, sports fans. Welcome to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM. We're streaming live on the web at WLCNOnline.com. Follow us on Twitter at WLCN Sports and online at WLCNSports.com. Scott Kirby, Jake Johnston, Jim Ash with you this morning. Good uh, day. Joe Ryan's MIA. Oh. I think Lloyd's in uh, a Disney World or something. Disneyland, Disneyland. I'm, I'm not positive on either one. Florida or California? Do we know? Ooh, I believe California. California. I, I do not know. You for don't sure. know for sure. All right. Well, he's uh, there somewhere, and uh, he's a kid at heart, so I'm sure he's having the time of his life. Oh, what what a uh, what grown person doesn't enjoy a uh, Disney World, Disneyland? Come on, that's true, Jake. It's a good time. It is man. a good time. <laughs> I'd like to thank Lloyd for filling in for me last week. Uh, oh, a lot of people talking about Lloyd's job filling in for you. Oh last yeah, week. a lot of I'm people. I'm just saying. Uh, all right. I'm, I like how you're taking it. You're taking this constructive criticism, and you just want to make the show great again. That's right. We're trying to make it great again, and if we could have people show up and participate, that would be <laughs> even better. <laughs> like the ones that are supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah. We are at the Logan County Fairgrounds today inside the, uh, what would you call this, Jake? Merchant building. Merchant building. Yeah. Uh, a lot of vendors set up here today. The uh, mm. the the uh, farmers market set up outside. Yeah. Uh, they pretty got, pretty they busy set up out with there. A couple tents I out see there. you got a little uh, seminar or something out there. Uh, yeah, they've got uh, they got the bake bake la- baking lady out there, and they got a lot of fruits and vegetables. Like yeah, you know, there's a, there's the whole whole gamut of what the farmer market offers is still outside there, except I don't believe they have a uh, sandwich maker anybody here today uh, with the fair going on. So The fair is going on. Uh, is a big concert on. tonight. Uh, do you know who it is? Uh, Ethan Corbin and uh, Rushville. Rushville. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever listened to any of Easton Corbin's music? Oh yeah, I, I do enjoy country music. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's probably my main go-to on on uh, the radio dial. Okay. Got you a big old cowboy hat and boots. And all I that. do not know. Oh. I'm a farm kid. I don't need that. Nope. It's just <laughs> implied, you know. Hey, I'm a farm kid. I'm a country boy. <laughs> Yeah, Logan County Fair is going on right now. Uh, busy time of the, the season here in Lincoln. Uh, I'm sure it's probably a pretty good turnout at night. So all the rides and your favorite, uh, the uh, concession stands. And I, I did have a uh, cheese on a stick the other night. Uh, cheese on a stick. You got the curler fries. Yeah. Can't go wrong with those no. things. Dou- douse those things in vinegar. And you're, you're having a good meal right there. Good to go. A lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on in the sports world, Jake. Uh, and we went. And by the way, we will have the Logan County Fair Queen on uh, later in the right. show, Molly Shemp. Congratulations to her. Uh, so we'll have her on, and she will sh- see what she has planned for the future. And I've so never been to one of those. What's that? One of the uh, Fair Queen. No, yeah. you never entered your kids in them, huh? No. Uh, I always wondered how they how they won that. It was like a uh, cage battle royal. That How do they do that? that? Would, I don't think they do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's uh, UFC winner takes all. No, but uh, twelve. I don't girls know. Enter, one girl leaves. Well, we're gonna find out what <laughs> we're process. Gonna find out. We're gonna see the process of the whole thing. Uh, how long she's been, I guess, training for it, yeah. and uh, you know what it took to to get involved and. Just all the steps to become Logan County Fair Queen. All right. And it's it's uh, fair season all over the state of Illinois. Uh, Illinois State Fair it's is like coming a, up. The last hurrah before kids go back to school. Yeah, isn't it? You it's know? like a celebration for parents. Exactly. You know? it's, uh, <laughs> I am their back. <laughs> the, the kids are home all summer, uh, annoying the bleep out of you, and <laughs> this is a little celebration. Let's go out to the fair and celebrate you going back to school. <laughs> it's going to be a few hundred dollars well spent. I know I can't wait till my kid goes back to school. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in college. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's coming up pretty quick. Uh, but a lot of things going on in the, uh, the sports world, Jake. We had the Hall of Fame game Thursday, which I'm sure you yep. didn't watch. Uh, I know you're kind of... Uh, what? Say it. Just say it. Avoiding the NFL. Uh, 
I am, I am, vetoing I am it, going uh, hard into uh, college football for the first time in my life, though. Yeah, well, we got some college football so. news, too, for uh, you Ohio State fans. Ooh, uh, yeah. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. But the Hall of Fame game, Thursday night, it felt pretty good turning on NBC. And I know it was guys out there playing. The starters were dressed, but they weren't going to play. Uh, the second teamers probably not playing much. It's it's more your third, fourth, and even your fifth string guys that yep. uh, are looking to make an impact so they get more time in the, the next four preseason games. Uh, so what do you take from it? Not much. What do you take from it? Really nothing, but nothing. You, you, okay. see, you see some of these athletes out there. Well, that, you, you get to see, or, if you're into NFL football, you get to see your boys back in motion. Right. You get, you know, you get to see a, a little football. taste, just a taste. Right. And you, get, you see these other guys fighting for a spot, and they're out there busting their butts off. And, yep. you know, there are some guys that, uh, that stood out, and they earned themselves some more playing time in the next four preseason games. Mm -hmm. And you asked me what I took from it. Not much. Uh, the you know the offense was pretty vanilla, uh, pretty plain. Uh, was, they're not going to show you a whole lot, and they're not going to show you a whole lot in the next four preseason games. Yeah, uh, it's just kind of a process right now with a new head coach. Uh, you got a second year quarterback, and you got a lot of talent on the offense. And you, you know, know a, a lot of people are talking about that defense. How, a lot of know, people are excited about the Bears' offense and defense, yeah. and, and the new coaching. So, and, and this point in the year. Everybody's excited about their team. Be. Yes, exactly. And then, you know, three or four weeks into the season, not Reality so much in. excitement. But, <laughs> you know, for the Bears, uh, it's it's a process. You know, they like I said, we have, I we do have a, say there's optimism. There, there's a lot of optimism. And not just for Bears fans. It's, uh, you know, sports reporters and, you know, all those type of people that oh, are, like, uh, are, are, are kind of high on them right now. Our very own Mark Grody. Mark Grody, he's, uh, he's on the sidelines. Uh, and that's a guy we need to be contacting here in the next uh, week or two. I get know a, he's been a busy in, update on it. He's yeah. been busy in Bourbon A and then uh, traveled to, I'm sure, Canton, Ohio last week for the uh, Hall of Fame game, which brings us to the 2018 Hall of Fame inductees. Mm -hmm. uh, Bears fans, they, they I tell know. you what, if you like defense... This may be your list right here. Well, there's some offenses too, but as far as defense goes, you got Brian Urlacher. Uh, you know, Chicago Bears fans. I mean, he uh, big. The Bears guy. are always known for that middle linebacker, and you know when the Bears drafted him, if you guys remember, he was a like a strong safety. Yep. Converted to middle linebacker, and you know they were comparing him to some of the Chicago Bear greats back then. Oh yeah. And it kind of humbled him, and, you know, he said, you know, it's not fair to compare him to those guys because he hasn't uh, really established himself in the NFL. And, but now you can. Yeah, absolutely. You can compare him to a Dick Buckus, a Mike Singletary, uh, you know, some of the greatest inside linebackers of all time. And now Brian Urlacher is one of them. And the other linebacker that went in with him, I mean, Ooh. Ray Lewis. I mean, that name right there speaks for itself. I tell uh, you what. He's been may, a staple may, with may the Ravens. A, may have been the scariest yeah. linebacker in the NFL for years. Scariest individual. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was uh, a great linebacker, a uh, great motivational speaker. Uh, still is. He actually. still is. Yeah. And, you know, he got a lot out of the defense. and. And maybe the oh here he is. Maybe the Ravens didn't always. I mean, they've always had a solid defense. But when you got Ray Lewis in the middle, controlling that defense. Now, not to go off on this tangent, I'm just saying. You know, you know my reasoning for kind of stepping away from the NFL a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. You look at a guy like Ray Lewis, love him or hate him, he's doing his protest to this. What what there's kneeling for the right way he wasn't doing it on the field he took it straight to the communities and still to this day takes it straight to those communities right. he does public speakings day in day out in 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 rough areas he's in baltimore he's working there trying to make it better he's taking it straight to that he's not sitting on the sidelines just taking a knee thinking that's going to do something right he's not necessarily using that platform uh known as the nfl 
to deliver his message. He's doing it off the field. He's doing it himself. And yeah, and that that's I see your take on it, and that's your stance. You know, you, you and we've talked about this before, Jake. That yeah, these uh, NFL players they they use the stage to you know promote their cause, and I think a lot of people may have took the Kaepernick. Uh, I guess kind of protest they took it out of context I think and it just kind of snowballed from there well, and I think Kaepernick <laughs> took it out of context well by how he was going about right it. right and, and, and the and the moment he chose to take uh, part I don't know I don't think when he first did I don't think that he saw it kind of going, I, I going that either. way I don't either and, and, I, and I will agree with that you know, one person makes an opinion, and, and, then, and then once it started going downhill, he had no was, choice. Yeah, there was and no choice. Was, he and had now, to be on yeah. one side or the other. And right. now he's uh, he's unemployed, and he, you know, he's he's a solid quarterback. There's no reason no. he shouldn't be starting on a team. He took, I mean, he took no, the 49ers. that that last year that that he was with the 49ers that he started taking the knee. He was horrible. He was back at best. But he, look, he, at he some. couldn't. He couldn't complete. He, he completed well, at, at one point. He completed one of like twenty-eight passes with two interceptions. Well, he it's, would be a, a feasible backup. Would you agree? I mean, look at the some NFL of these. Bell grows so fast, man. But, I mean, look, but look at some of these other guys that have gotten backup gigs, and you're thinking, really? But but a lot of those guys are are throwers too. They're not yeah. runners. Kaepernick was a running quarterback that could make a few plays with his arms. I mean, I know there's guys like Joe Ryan that might have a little more uh, input on some like this, but at the same time, Kaepernick was not a throwing quarterback. That's what most teams look at for a backup in their system, in my opinion, is they look for somebody to fit the system, but more than likely to, to throw the ball a little bit more. If you're one of the guys that's going to run you out of pocket, yeah. you better be drafting them because if you're in the league for more than five years and you're getting tossed around, you're not going to be running. Well, look at uh, I mean, look at the Ravens. They've got two on their team right now. You got RG three, where you know he comes with Washington. He's supposed to be that that the next coming, that yeah. next coming guy. You know, in that system for ten to fifteen years, and, and that one he's, he's a runner. Get him up. He's a runner. Yep. <laughs> one hit. That's his career right there, and he's oh. trying to build back in. And they just drafted another one from Louisville, Tavares Jackson. Yeah. He, what's he? He's another runner. NFL has proven that uh, you know it's tough to get outside on them linebackers because from sideline to sideline they're pretty fast. They're pretty fast. They can cover some ground and they're going to smack you. Yep. And uh, so well, it's not only the linebackers too. The safeties are so much bigger right. nowadays. The corners are so much bigger. And and you, you look know? at the you look at the quarterbacks in the NFL that are sticking around. Who are they? They're pocket passers. You're yeah. Aaron Rodgers. You're Tom Brady. Tom but, Brady's not running. Nope. You know, he's he, he's going to get rid of the ball quick and uh, make something happen, or he's going to throw it away. And, uh, you and know, those guys always have that, that sneaky quickness where they'll elude somebody elude. and just, yep. just get a couple steps out of the pocket and make a nice pass. Yep. Usually for you think you got them, and now they're, you you, you well, just, yeah. they just got a first down 15 yards the other way. They make that one little move, and it allows you know, the tight end or a fullback to get out in the flat, dump it off, or they're throwing it away, and they live to the next play. They're not trying to make something happen. Speaking of throwing it in there. have eyes in the back of their head. There you go. How you doing? Hi, Joe Ryan. How you doing today? Living it up. Smelling a little fishy today. Tell you what, I feel a little fishy. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to talk about that here a little bit later. But uh, Joe Ryan, uh, he was Making over at the old today. Redneck Fishing Tournament. Oh, yeah. And I uh, wish I had the keys to the car. <laughs> couldn't find them, huh? A hung rough him, day. Hung them right up on the back door. Oh, oh, I went outside last night and forgot where I set them. Oh. Yeah, the, cous the cousin's... Uh, my cousin's family are the ones that actually originated that over there. In oh, the yeah? Bath, Illinois, yeah. And yep. you're not involved? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not, not saying that won't ever happen, but no. All right. I've seen some pretty good injuries come out of that just from flying fish. Well, we've got <laughs> something to talk about here in a little bit. But uh, just to kind of finish off the uh, 2018 Hall of Fame inductees, you got Randy Moss, Trey Owens, which didn't show up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going on with what that. In the world? Yeah, what is Jerry that Kramer that? and then another uh, defensive guy, Brian Dawkins. Oh, Brian Dawkins. And there's yeah, another one, too. Dawkins was, uh, <laughs> Dawkins, <laughs> Dawkins yeah. was a beast. He was a beast. But, yeah, Terrell Owens uh, elected not to partake in any of the Hall of Fame ceremonies. Uh, he was going to his alma mater, celebrate there. I don't know 
he's, What's uh, his deal? He's a little bitter about not being a first round, uh, you know, a first time inductee, mm -hmm. you know. So, what is the Hall of Fame? Well, I know football Hall of Fame is different than, there's, than baseball. Yeah. So. There's people not in the Hall of Fame that should be in the Hall of Fame. And if you make the Hall I of tell Fame, you what. I don't care if it's five years down the road, 10, 15, 20, it's a big honor. Yep. And not only, they were talking a little bit about this on the, uh, you know, on NFL, on the NBC. It's not only the individuals, you know, get to enjoy it. It's the people that helped him get there. Yeah. You know, previous coaches, family. Stuff like that. They don't get to partake or celebrate in any of this stuff either because Terrell Owens' his ego is bigger than his. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it, you it, know. His, his youth football coaches and all them guys, they get it. Take, Cut her off right, right there. Too, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's take a commercial break. We come back. We're going to talk with Joe Ryan and his redneck fishing experience. All right. So stay tuned. You're in the cheap seats, 96.3 FM. We are Jim's at the a lot of good ones. Logan County Fairgrounds inside of the Merchant Building. Merchant Merchant. Building. Yes. Uh, people are starting to file through now. We got the uh, farmers market outside, and Pretty we got nice Todd Logan with us. Good morning, Scott. How are you? Good, doing good. Uh, you're here to update us on what's uh, what's going on with the fundraising and uh, all that stuff. Joe just informed us that you were coming on. No heads up. <laughs> Just, uh, we talked about it this morning. <laughs> Who did? <laughs> but I did. I said, okay. yeah, come on by by 9.30. You got to let us know, Joe. Yeah. I did when Joe, I got here. Joe shows up at 9.25. Yeah. And did I hey, bring a guest? Hey, I got Loman coming on at 9.30. <laughs> so uh, we're not prepared. Well, well, not that we ever are. Oh, we're prepared. Prepared. that you guys work better under we pressure do. like this. Uh, we do our best work under pressure. <laughs> and uh, You give Loman a mic and he'll talk. <laughs> I don't know about that. So what's going on? Well, I just kind of wanted to give everybody an update. Uh, you know, I thank you guys for allowing me to come on last week and uh, promote the event that we had, and uh, on you know, in honor of, uh, of Flaco. And uh, Wednesday night was the event. We had, uh, I don't know, Joe, you were there. I'm not sure if there was any kind of a head count, but I'm guessing three, three fifty, three hundred, yeah, something Love like people. that. We had a great turnout uh, from the community and. And uh, they dug really deep in their pockets. We, we started out with wanting to, uh, we set our goal at $10,000, and then with the Woods Foundation match, that uh, became 20000 And when I spoke with the V Foundation, I told them we'd probably be around 25000 Well, after, uh, after Wednesday night, uh, we're over the $40,000 mark. Wow. Yeah, and that's all uh, all attributed to the, the Lincoln and Logan County community and, and those that came out and supported the cause. And again, it was it was uh, in honor of Flaco, but it was also to uh, to benefit uh, Victory Over Cancer, the V Foundation slogan, and uh, and everyone that has uh, lost a loved one to cancer or or is battling cancer or is a cancer survivor. So uh, we're just over the top excited. Uh, we are. Uh, continuing to take donations and the online donation Joe and I were talking about that the other night the online donations are uh, open until I was told October 1st of 2019 uh, but I, I guess I'm gonna say October 1st of 2018, 2018. so got a couple months yet so uh, you know as things go along and if you uh, feel a need to donate that, that is jimmyv.org uh, forward slash Flaco Strong goes to uh, goes towards our event, so it was a great night. He had some uh, pictures taken. I know that uh, Pedro have a, uh, a drone up there. He did. He did. We. Uh, he knows how to run one of those. <laughs> yeah, well, I think he does. <laughs> I haven't seen the end result yet, but uh, I didn't see it land. I just saw it in the air. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was no crashes or anything. Uh, yeah, we did. We we uh, uh, Dave Irwin from State Bank of Lincoln was uh, nice enough to bring the drone out, and uh, we had a, a large check. Uh, that we could present to the V Foundation for, that we made out for forty thousand dollars, and uh, everyone came outside the the uh, pavilion, and and we did a nice uh, photo op, and we're going to send that uh, out to the V Foundation as well as uh, we have a recording of Tina's speech, which was uh, yeah, very nice, yes, uh, that evening, and uh, we're going to send that out to the V Foundation as well. So uh, just a, a great night. Uh, again, we're still accepting donations, and and uh, you know if we can get that forty-one thousand up to forty-five, that'd be even even better. 
Um, I did speak with the V Foundation yesterday and kind of told them our uh, our results of Wednesday night, and uh, I just wanted to pass this on to everyone that uh, they're over the top excited. They're just so thrilled, and and she, uh, my contact there, mentioned that outside of a non signature or outside the signature events that they ho host. Matter of fact, this weekend is their largest events or event of the year out in Napa Valley. Uh, but outside of their signature events, what they consider a third party event, uh, we are the largest contribution for this year outside wow. of their signature <laughs> signature events. So from uh, little old Lincoln and Logan Lincoln. County, uh, uh, the, the pocketbooks opened up and and it, it's just been a great event. So. And you had a lot of help. I mean, you want to throw those guys' <coughs> names around that helps you. Uh, yeah, you'll leave somebody out. Well, yeah, I will I leave know. somebody out. But, uh, you know, Matt Young kind of helped spearhead this thing from the get-go. And I know he doesn't think he, he did a lot. But, you know, he, he really kind of got the whole idea going as far as uh, Wednesday night at the, at the KC Pavilion. Uh, Tina and, and the family has been super supportive. Um, you know, that that day was the day of, uh, of the funeral service and everything so it was a really tough couple days for the family and, and the friends and for them to come out and support the cause that evening uh, offered a little bit of levity to to what was uh, a pretty rough seven months for them uh, but uh, they were more than happy to uh, to come out and and show their support to coach k and, and the v foundation uh, there yeah there's so many others my wife georgia uh, ran around and, and put the the uh, uh, event posters up and everything so she spent a lot of time on it as well and there's just so many others uh, Rick and Diane Proshower helped helped her with that and uh, just I, I know I'm gonna Darren Powell, Darren was, Powell say he was involved. yeah Darren Powell was very instrumental in it he uh, he's the one that bought us the bartenders and everybody bought us the V Foundation shirts and and didn't want any money for it. He wanted that all donated, ba donated back. So he was very instrumental in it. So uh, my daughter Kelsey, who who helps out with the with the Logan County Fair and their um, uh, their social media, she did a lot for the, for the event as well. As well, so it was a great event, really. Um, now, what for a good dude? What for a uh, real good dude? What were some of the activities that were, were taking place i wasn't here last week so i missed the whole thing we, it was just uh it was just a gathering you know we didn't have um just kind of uh, send a bucket around and you know, there we, you go we passed the bucket we uh, uh accepted the checks and that sort of thing and uh yeah there wasn't really a lot involved in it as far as setups like that uh i know uh we had a couple challenges that uh, uh heidi brown did a cub cardinal ticket challenge and generated uh five six hundred bucks for that and and uh, those are all greatly appreciated most of it was just people writing checks from the goodness of their hearts absolutely well, that's so. that that speaks for itself right there and just you know the, like you said the community they you know he was well known through the community so to see that outpouring that kind of that makes you feel good that he was absolutely. Uh, well respected and liked uh Man, so yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. I got a feeling come NCAA tournament time, we're going to see a lot of a lot more Duke gear right around this town. <laughs> we are, you know, <laughs> uh, the guys we run around with and everything. We're all saying, well, we all have to be Duke fans now, or at least until Coach K retires. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we I go back to our fighting Illini. <laughs> All right, the Dukies, I like him. <laughs> you, 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 he's the number one bandwagon jumper. Yeah, I mean, you see what he has on his head today. Yeah. Arizona you know. Cardinals, they're a bandwagon to get him. lots of room on there in case you guys want to. Well, you have a Raiders hat on Cushy today, seats. bud. <laughs> they look new. <laughs> he didn't even know which hat he had on today, did he? Well, Todd, thanks for uh, coming by today. Appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me on again. Yeah, and. Uh, Congratulations, and you know that's Thanks. that's uh, that's a pretty neat deal right there. Yep, it's a big deal, and, and again, I just want to thank the Lincoln and Logan County community for everything they did. Uh, it was a short window, and and uh, you know we knocked it out of the park. All right, so come back and visit us, Todd. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> well, he, he hasn't said you have face for radio yet, so I'm not going to say it to him. I told him I'd be my best behavior. I told, told him to be kind. I'm being real nice. <laughs> well, he's not. He says he's not feeling real good today. So <laughs> we'd like to invite you back. But, yeah, and we'll. All right. He'll make fun of you then. <laughs> we can talk about things. All right. Thanks, All right. Todd. Thanks, guys. It's Todd Loman.
<laughs> now we want to get with, with Joe. We want to hear this experience yesterday. I tell you real quick though, he's yeah. right though. It makes it easy to be a Jimmy V fan. Okay. Or or, or Coach K van, uh, and, and with that jumping on a Duke bandwagon, boy, that seems like the easiest transition. Easy, it's a big <laughs> bandwagon. <laughs> Holy cow! And he's jumping right on. Uh, I've always been a Duke oh, fan. Oh, you've never ever, even ever since they started winning. He's yeah. he's a huge Duke fan. Huge, okay. huge. Okay. So uh, he's also a big, huge fan of uh, Asian carp, flying fish, flying fish. Yeah. And yesterday it was the redneck. Uh, Fishing, fishing tournament, tournament down in Bath. Uh, it's a brownie, big event. Yeah. Well, Brownie called me up Wednesday and uh, wanted to know if I wanted to go. I had to had to decline. Uh, I want to go next year though. Uh, looks like there was some damage taken yesterday. A uh, broken windshield. Uh, somebody hit in the face. Maybe a concussion. <laughs> there could uh, be a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> and what the, the listeners they don't know what we're talking about over in Bath. You've all heard of uh, Asian carp. Well. When you get that water turned up, these these fish fly out of the water. Yeah, literally. And flying. it's like a missile. Oh, that's unbelievable. Really. And uh, how high they get out of the water yeah. and how big they are. They they come flying at you. We uh, had a couple of reporters that were doing a story on a guy in our boat for the first uh, heat, and they so that's a couple hours they were in the boat, and uh, I don't know if they were quite knew what they were going to have happen to them, but <laughs> pretty soon you've got you know fish scales and blood and guts and everything all over the place and you know it, you're running into other boats and uh, they were screaming and one of them got hit in the head it slimed her went right over the top of her head and left her this big old you know so was a, it a grazing it, blow then yes it just went this it literally just enough, went by. Okay. It, just enough to put slime all over the top of her head it it was hysterical um yeah, the, one of them even broke the windshield in Brownie's boat. Yeah, that's, I saw a, that. that's a solid shot. Yeah, oh, yeah. It'd break the windshield. Yep. You, you're bumping. It is dangerous, I have to say. <laughs> when you, <laughs> when there's eight boats all together out there, and you're all turning circles and going different directions, and then these Asian carp start jumping up out of the water. You know, 30 of them at a time, and everybody's got nets, and <laughs> it's all chaos, man. It, I don't know how. Now you're saying everybody has nets. Is have they done away with people out there with? Hockey sticks and baseball yeah, we, yeah, bats. Yeah, there's none of that going on. No? no okay. Everybody has nets. Okay. Um, so how many fish did you catch? We caught 81 in the first heat. That was a lot for us. Uh, and do you do you advance heats or I mean? No, I think they pay money per heat, but we're not interested. We're not going to win any money. We're not that good. But 81, you know, there are boats. We've got four or five people in our boat. There are boats that have a dozen people on them. You know, you can't just mm. catch them, um, snagging them out of the air. You know, it, it's amazing. It really is. A, if you haven't YouTube, go on YouTube and yeah, it's kind of look so, look at some of it. It's, oh, it's, it's some fun. entertainment. Well, count me in next year. And um, yeah, this lady, these these guys did some story. Maybe we'll get a hold of it. I think Jimmy's talking good. about having a uh, getting uh, <laughs> another, uh, our another own, sponsorship. Our own we would <laughs> have to go wireless. Then, though. Yeah, we'll have to go wireless, Jim. So you got a year to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a commercial break. We'll come back. We're going to have the Logan County Fair Queen on with us. So stay tuned. You're in the cheap seats on 96.3 FM. Jim, I mean, he's uh, he's on top. Jim is on it. He just has a uh, intro for everything. Welcome back to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM. We're at the Logan County Fairgrounds, and Logan County Fairgrounds that means you need a Logan County Fair Queen. Absolutely. And we have just that with us this morning, Molly Shimp from Atlanta. Good morning. Good morning. Very excited to be here. Well, we're happy to have you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you are from Atlanta. Uh, are you? And still in high school or what's yes okay. so i am homeschooled and i'll be a senior in high school okay. and i also attend olympia high school half days to participate in ffa okay um so we were talking before we went on air before the show what does it take how do you get involved and what are the steps in order to get logan county fair queen and what does that evening consist of just kind of so the evening of the pageant on Tuesday night is very exciting. Um, before the pageant, you have a month of practices, and the committee really works with you, so you are fully prepared for Tuesday night. So Tuesday night starts out with an interview, and then at the pageant, you give a speech in a formal suit. There is a swimsuit competition, and then there is a pop question in a formal gown. Okay. So you say committee. So this is something that's, I mean, it's not just show up, give a speech. There's 
a lot of practice. And yes, there is. There is a lot to do beforehand. Okay. And what uh, what drew you, or you know, to participate in this? Just something that you've kind of always been interested in, or? So last year's Logan County Fair Queen Meg Meeker actually asked me to participate, and I took a couple days to think about it, and then decided this was an opportunity I wanted to take. Okay. And it takes a lot of, uh, you have to have nerves of steel to pop out there, don't you? I mean, we can get on the radio and talk here and it doesn't really matter, but you have to walk out in front of that crowd and, like you said, answer some pop questions so you don't know what the question is. Right, right. This is something, public speaking something I really enjoy. I enjoy talking to crowds of any size, so it was something I really enjoyed that night. What yeah, was a nervous the... Nervous wreck going out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't do well. What was the question that they asked you? The question that they asked me was, what are your thoughts on having the first female president? Okay, and your answer was? My answer was that anyone who can fulfill the duties, I think, would be a wonderful candidate. That's uh, true. And a good answer. Yeah. And the, uh, do this, so did I missed, maybe you said this and I, it went right by me. Uh, is there some part of a, of a talent thing, too? Are there, you there is no talent portion. But don't you, no. you sing? I thought you guys right sang songs and stuff. No. Not at this one, no. <laughs> okay. I haven't been to one in a long time. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. No and I was never in one. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if there's no talent, you might be able to get one. How come there's not a king thing? Well, I don't know. Maybe we should start, we start one up. <laughs> Does anyone run that? It's for uh, men 40 and older. Wow. <laughs> no. I, I don't feel that we'd have a very good uh, audience. There would not be a good turnout either. So what are your, uh, your plans after this, uh, Logan County Fair Queen? Is there a, a next step as far as, as far you as go education. to, what's that? As far as education. No, as far as uh, Logan County Fair Queen, do you go to the Illinois State Fair and kind of is, or is this kind of the, the plateau? Or? Yeah, so after Fair Week um, closes out on Sunday and we finish participating at events here, we head to the Governor's Luncheon at the State Fair. And then throughout the year, there'll be different events I can attend and fairs and parades to um, participate in as well. Okay, you talked uh, now your education down the road. This has got to look pretty good on a resume. So what are your plans down the road? Yes, yeah, so after high school, I'd like to attend a junior college and then go on to major in agriculture education. And I plan to start an FFA chapter for homeschoolers so they can have the same opportunity I have received at Olympia High School. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, good for you. Absolutely. That's awesome. Okay. Well, congratulations on being Logan County Fair Queen. Uh, I'm sure you'll be at the concert tonight and walking around with your crown and that's pretty neat. You got to feel kind of special. Now you're the center of attention, and it seems that you handle that pretty well. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Do you want to throw some thank yous out there, some people that helped out? Sure. So I'd really like to thank my parents for helping me and following me around everywhere this week, and of course my little brother for doing chores morning and <laughs> night, and especially to the pageant committee for helping me out everywhere I go. I really appreciate everything. Right. Congratulations. All right, we're pass the mic down here. We have Junior Miss Logan County, Julia Collins. Good morning. Hi. I'm really happy to be here. You're happy to be here? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what did you have to do? Do you have to kind of do the same thing as uh, Molly did? or? Well, it's the same idea, but it's a little bit less complicated for the Junior Miss. Um, we had to do a dance all together, and that didn't count for our score, but it was just an extra fun thing and we had a pop question as well and we had to we got our pop question two hours before the pageant oh so you could kind of think about yes it. and our pop question was given the permanence of content on social media what would what advice would you give young women about posting wow that, that's a tough question that's, that's question. harder than her question <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with social media that that's uh, that's pretty big these days. So, mm -hmm. and your answer? I said that if you wouldn't show what you're posting to your grandmother, then you probably <laughs> shouldn't be posting it. <laughs> that's uh, that's right. I, there's a it's lot a of good people rule to live to by. Take that uh, <laughs> that advice because social media can be bad or it could be good. So, uh, what grade are you in? I'm. We'll be in seventh grade. Seventh grade, and you attend Olympia. Olympia, yes. Okay, and. Uh, what are, do you play any sports? I'm on the cheerleading squad, I'm in student council, and I'm in theater. Wow. 
And what do you want to do as, as far as I know, you're only in seventh grade, but what, what are your goals? Um, I life? want to be a broadcaster on a news channel okay. like Good Morning America or the Today Show. There you go. You got your start today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch out, Joe. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to have a bigger audience than we do. So, <laughs> you know, keep it up. And you're very well spoken. So I think you'd fit right in with them. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. We'll pass the mic down to Little Miss Logan County, Kylie Folk. I'm glad to be here. All right. <laughs> now, that, is that something they teach you there at uh, <laughs> the committee that you're glad? I mean, you don't want to say, I don't want to be here. <laughs> you're always glad to be here, right? Yeah. And what grade are you in? Uh, I'm going to be in second. Second grade? Okay. And then uh, what was your experience like for the uh, Little Miss uh, Logan County? Uh, riding rides for free a lot. <laughs> really? That's, a, that's kind of a perk, huh? You get to ride the rides for free. Well, can Joe borrow your uh, crown so he, maybe he can ride some rides later? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Very friendly. Yes. So what, did they ask you any questions? Uh, or um, what did you have to do? I had, I, they didn't ask me questions. I had to go up stage and say my name and how old I am and where I live and um, what's my favorite part about the fair. Riding free rides. Well, that probably, you didn't probably get to do that yet because you didn't win. But yeah. What is your favorite part of the fair? The demo derbies. The demo derbies, which that's tomorrow, right? Yep. Yeah, and you'll probably get a front row seat. Yeah? What about that petting zoo over there with all those animals in it? That's cool. I have it one over there. You have it? Well, well we're getting you down there to you Richard's petting You can go wherever zoo. you want. You got a crown on your head, and it, this is your weekend. Yep. Sounds exactly right. <laughs> I love that yelp. Yep. That's <laughs> what her got her the victory. She just had to say yelp. So uh, what are your plans today? Uh, maybe uh, riding a little bit of rides. For free. For free. Yeah, that's, that's all about that free thing. Heck yeah. You going to say, you going to shout out to anybody out there? You got any fans out there? Um, my mom for a... Uh, Letting me have uh, some snacks and riding <laughs> rides. She don't, she don't usually let you have snacks? <laughs> <laughs> but since you won, you get snacks now? Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> uh, you wear that crown, they'll give you whatever you That's want right. around here. Yep. I don't know. Uh, now, Julia, did you want to give a shout yeah, out? So to we kind of skipped you on um, that. I want to thank my parents because they've taken me to everything early in the morning and at night and my brother because he's been really supportive in the whole pageant um, process and all he watched all the practices and came to the pageant and I'd also like to thank my friends because I had a lot of my friends that came to the pageant and took the time to come and yeah <laughs> well parents you guys are doing an excellent job uh, three fine young ladies here very well spoken and they know what they yes, want to do are. with their life. Unfort you know, us two, we're still trying to figure it out. So uh, congratulations. Uh, have fun today. Don't ride too many rides. You might, you know, <laughs> get an upset stomach. Yeah. So have snacks. fun. Yeah. And uh, we will see you guys down the road. And congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Well, you can take us out to the commercial. Right? Just getting into broadcasting. Oh, you want to take us out? Just Next grab it, tell us we're going to commercial. We'll we're be right in the back. cheap seats. Well, <laughs> we're on the cheap seats. We'll be right back. We're in the cheap seats and we'll be right back. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Hello, listeners. This is Cheap Seats, where we tell you about sports feats. We try real hard. We're not the best. And our show sucks worse when Joe forgets to get guests. We're broadcasting from the fairgrounds, where concessions and games abound. You'll see livestock, like cows and hogs, and you may even see Joe riding on corn dogs. Oh, he even had, had an audience. Yeah. 
That Lloyd Kirby, I tell you what. He's, uh, um, and he didn't yell Shabadoo at the end? Nope. I thought he could have. It's old. It's, I mean, that's that's things in the past. Yeah, it's time oh, yeah. to move on. That's old. Uh, you're a funny guy, Lloyd. Uh, now he's in Florida. Is he at Disney World, he's Disney a, Land, Disney the Park? Disney places. He is Disney. <laughs> yeah, he, they he may should. suit him up. He is a walking Disney character. He's something um, all right. And, and that's all the way from him with love sent our way. With love. Hey, those little girls are very impressive. Uh, you know what? Absolutely. Uh, they were well spoken. Very well spoken, uh, intelligent. Uh, I love that. Yelp. Yelp. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's good stuff. That is She's good cute. stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a pretty big deal for them. You know, they, they put in a lot of time and effort. And for that to pay off like that, you know, it's. I could never do that. No. Well, you want to pop out there in front I mean, of all those people, have them give you a few trick questions? No. <laughs> and, and vote and, you know, critique you? I mean, we have enough of that here. <laughs> we don't need to do that. It, you know what? It'd be fun if we could get a king thing, though, and then, like, we could be the judges. <laughs> we can't judge this. I, mean, I don't think they want us involved in anything, Joe. No, they don't. Uh, Chili cook-off going on down there. Yeah. Can't believe you're not in that. Well, I'm, You always brag to us. You I got do. some chili. I never brag to you about having good chili. <laughs> Tammy told me the best part about your chili was the crackers. Well, that's probably true. <laughs> not much of a cook. Not even chili? I mean, I'll cook chili. But, I chili. mean, it's pretty simple. Um... Yeah, as I say, I haven't been down there yet, but uh, that they usually have a pretty good crowd for that. Yeah. Uh, big show tonight. Big show. You going? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll be there tonight. You going? Uh, no. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Did you even want to? Uh, uh, no. no, I don't. No. I'm not a big country yeah. fan. My yeah. kids now, they, they're probably going to go. They're really I, into country. I wish it wasn't so hot. But maybe it'll cool down by the night, huh? It's not bad, really. It's 90. It's going to be 90 today. That's hot. Well, the concert's tonight. I don't know. Yeah, but you get all those people. I guess it's a different place tonight. we got a different venue, don't we? It's, oh, not, it's, it's not going to be in the grandstand. Oh, again. it's not? No. Where's it at? Uh, it's going to go over in the corner. Oh, really? How long ago was it they used to have three-on-threes out here? Ooh. It's been a long time. That. It's been a long time. They only do it one time. Yeah. Three-on-three, yeah. three, it's... Uh, you know, it used to be big back in the day, and now it's just kind of everybody did it. You know, it's like the pancake and sausage breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> everybody had one, and it just got to where. No but play. you know, everything cycles. It'll cycle back around. Oh, it'll be popular in so. 20 years. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope so. Those are pretty fun. I mean, we went to a lot of them with, you know, my kids. They played in them. You know, sure. we traveled all over the state playing in them. And then it got to the point where, you know. Nobody wanted I mean, there used to be a big one out at the high school. Huge. And uh, just don't do it anymore. It didn't have the interest. Uh, speaking of interest, uh, we we're going to talk about with this with Jake. Uh, I doubt that you have any input on it, but I'm going to make th- something I'm, up. I'm going to throw this out here. All right. Who are the winners and losers at the trade deadline for baseball? <laughs> uh, I would have no idea who was the winners and the losers, but I'm going to say that the Phillies were one of them. They, Phillies? They, they were winners. Well, they did get an all-star catcher, uh, yeah. Ramos. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Dodgers, they get Machado. I was just going to say, and the Dodgers, because I knew he Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, it's kind of, I don't know. The Cubs got a couple relievers, and they got Cole Hamels. So, I don't know. I don't know. I have any idea who was winners. Well, Jake, Cardinals today. Jake's our baseball guy, and uh, he ran out of here. Where's he going? Well, he's got uh, junior high softball starting up today uh, at the LJHS. Wow! So he wanted to get out there and watch his daughter play. Can't blame him for that. No, okay. didn't realize it had started up. But let me guess. You know what? It's when August. The, when 4th. the fair's here, school's here. So that's we. Well, we that was a big thing before you got here, Joe. We've already discussed that. It's yeah. kind of a celebration for parents. <laughs> uh, so. We got a call coming we in. We have a caller, and who is on the air with us this morning? Hey, Scotty and Joe. Uh, this is Dean, and I'll uh, try and take Jake's place this morning. Please okay, do. Yeah. Please uh, do. do that uh, totally. But you help us, I Dean. I had this discussion the other night in the back alley. So um, I think the big winner out of the whole thing 
Yeah, L.A. Was, was great on that, but I think if you got to pick a second, I think Pittsburgh picking up uh, Chris Archer was yeah, huge. Did that kind of surprise you there? I mean, the Pittsburgh, they've been going on a little bit of a run, and you thought maybe they might be sellers. Mm-hmm. You know, they kind of traded everybody last year. and. Uh, well, I, I think if they wouldn't have had that, uh, what was the 11-game winning streak yeah. uh, right before the break, I think they would have been huge sellers. But I think they've seen a little bit of life coming back in. Um, they've seen a little bit of demise in, in Milwaukee. And I, honestly, I, I think Milwaukee's a loser in it. I know they picked up uh, the, uh, what's your second baseman? Oh, that they've got, they've those. got three second basemen there that they're trying to figure out who's going to play where. And, um, and yet they picked up no starting pitching. Right. And Suter just went down and out for the rest of the year. Oh, yeah. And. Well, they can still make some moves, but it's got, it's got to take a little work through the waiver wire. But uh, you talk about Pittsburgh. They're only six and a half games out now, and you pick up a starter like Archer, and if you look at the pieces that they let go last year, uh, Garrett Cole, uh, you know, McCutcheon, I, I didn't really bother me too much because he wasn't – he needed a new venue. But uh, Yeah, he, he's one of those guys that needed a change of scenery, yeah. as they like to say. So, I like McCutcheon. Yeah, I do too. Uh you know, but you know, they're they're a game above St. Louis right now, and they feel that they can make a push. And you know, you got like you said, Milwaukee. They didn't do much. They're just kind of relying on what they have. And uh, you know, the Cubs went out and got Cole Hamill, which he looked good the other night. And then they got he a, looked really good. The yeah. Other night. And then they go out and get the the guy from the Nationals. Uh, so Kinsler. Yeah, Kinsler and. You know, it, it's going to be interesting down the well, wire here. Picking up Jesse Chavez, and I know he got uh, got blasted um, yeah, Thursday he did. night. But you know, that's the first bad outing he's had since he's been at Chicago. So, yeah. And, and you and I both know that everybody's going to have a bad outing once in a while. Oh yeah, and you know so, he's been he's been pretty solid. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking that bullpen right now. And uh, if we can just get you Darvish, you know, that's just like another trade right there. If we can get him back. Uh, here soon, you know that's going to be if a little boost. Getting back to where he, the U Darvish of before. Right, right, and I think I'm that's what. Real, the, yeah, I'm just not real uh, excited about him coming back real quick because I'm not sure. I just have apprehensions of what he's going to be like when he comes back. Right, and I think that's that was one of the factors of them going out and getting another starter in Hamill because you don't know oh, where yeah. Darvish is at. And if you can keep him, you know, down there for a little while, even until September where you expand your rosters and uh, get him at 100% and just kind of go with – I think Quintana looked good the other day as well. So if Quintana you can get, looked really good. If you can get them on track, uh, you know, Lester, he's always going to give you a solid start. And then you throw Hamill in there, and then Hendricks is starting to figure well, it out. Well, Hendricks looked good the other night, too. You had yeah. to give up a home run in the first if inning. He, if he could just get um, out of that first inning. Settled down. Yeah. yeah. That first inning. Maybe we need to start having them take the start in the second inning. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you're right. But, uh, yeah, if they can get those guys on track, uh, I'm pretty pleased with the bullpen. And seems like the bats might be heating up a little bit. Uh, they're just uh, pretty inconsistent right now. But, uh, you know, they got a one-game lead over Milwaukee. So I think this point last year we were maybe down five or so. So um, um, Somewhere around that, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, there's still a lot of baseball left, uh, but, you know, if you're a Cub fan, you're excited. If you're a Cardinal fan, not so much. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm just going to throw this out there for, for the baseball guys. If you're not a big country fan and you want something really cool to do tonight, um, the Corn Belters are having their Legends game with their Cubs and the Cardinals. Legends tonight up in uh, Normal oh. at 7 o'clock, and it is always a fantastic time. Yeah, that would be a good uh, – you see a lot of the old players up there. That would be pretty neat. It, it will be. So I plan on spending a good evening with my son and my grandson and uh, enjoy a little baseball. Was uh, was Pete Rose there a few years ago for that? Uh, he was there a couple of years ago as a one-game manager yeah. for them. Okay. And yeah. the same way they had Jose Canseco was here three days at the end of June this year. They signed him as a designated hitter for three games. Um, <laughs> they put on a good presentation up there. Yeah, well, you know, uh, Snoop Dogg is going to be up there in September. 
So <laughs> it'd be kind of neat to see, wouldn't it? <laughs> Up the old yeah. corn crib, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, let's we'll keep the canine away from the field that <laughs> That's <night>. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. Well, hey, it's 10 Well, hopefully I filled in a little bit for Jake there, but uh, a little bit of knowledge is better than none. Well, well I'll it, tell you what. He, want, he wanted to talk some baseball knowledge. before he left, but, uh, uh, you know, Logan County Fair Queen and Little Miss and uh, Junior, they take precedence over Jake. So, and he had okay. to run. He's got some softball to watch today. So, you yep. know, it's uh, it's getting sports busy again, which I like to hear. That's good. All right, that's Dino. Good. Thanks for calling, buddy. Right. Thanks, we'll Dean. Later. We'll talk to you down the road. All right, Joe, that's going to do it for that's us. Wrap uh, it up. Man, it's so nice having guests. Uh, it just makes the show so it much does. better uh, where we don't have to blabber. Uh, you get some interesting stories, uh, you know, so... If you could, I keep, agree. If you could keep up the good work and get guests like this, I sure would appreciate it. I think it. you should just just enjoy today. Enjoy it because <laughs> next week could be bad. It Not be that bad. this week was good, but uh, it was better than most. Uh, all we'll right. be all right. That's going to do it for us here at the Logan County Fairgrounds. Are you guys sticking around? No. Done. Okay. So after this, we're done. What's that? Oh, Bob will be on at one. So stay tuned. And uh, we will talk to you next week from Four Corners Lube. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Good day. Good day.